Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to the vlog. So, we spent the night last night at Walmart in Chilliwack. Pretty good, reliable Walmart for us to use there with other RVers, so that went well. We've dumped the tanks. I'm just grabbing some water here right now, have some fresh water. We've got a full tank of gas, propane, and groceries taken care of, guys. So we're gonna do the Fraser Canyon Highway today. A little bit of driving, and we got a super cool rec site planned out too. It's supposed to be free, no camp fees, but it's got campsites on a lake, and it's up the Fraser Canyon, which is a beautiful drive we did last year. It's gonna be super cool. So we will see you guys on the road here and take you with us. Should be a big day of camping. I think it'll be a few rec sites in a row coming up here on the videos. A whole lot of RV camping coming at you. Should be fun. So we're gonna do that, but mix of sun and clouds too though. Might get rained on a bit. Been a lot of rain in the lower mainland here lately, so hopefully we can find a bit more dry areas in the deserts of BC, if you will. But more on that later. Stretching our legs, Miss Crybaby here just had to come outside. It's getting a little ridiculous. Every single time that we're outside and she's not, she really wants to be there. And she'll be meowing at the window when she sees us, just wanting to come outside so bad. Even when it's raining, like I don't get it, but let her go for a walk outside and we'll hit the road again. Nap time's over. Time to hit the road, kitty. Uh oh, you know that noise. Guys, our free wreck site just above Ashcroft. Looking pretty good so far. We caught the sunshine still before we lose it behind the hill. And it's not too busy either. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different wreck site than we're kind of used to. We're kind of used to wreck sites in the forest where there's like 
trees in between the sites, mm -hmm. but we're kind of in like a desert area, so there's not many trees. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. I mean, BC is so diverse in general, and if you live in BC and you've never been to the Cache Creek or Ashcroft area up the Fraser Canyon and kind of by Kamloops, check it out sometime. If you ever drive for you only, and I mean, you can go cactus hunting if you've seen the cactuses in our own videos. True. That's in BC and like the bridge crossing over to Ashcroft and everything. So cool, but maybe we should take a quick look around here and check out this campsite quick. Yeah, go check out Barnes Lake. We're right on the lake here, so. Yeah, it's a lake too, a fishing lake. Good morning guys. Man, it is cold out here. Today is a high of 11. I think we were a low of six last night. So we actually had the furnace turned on set to 66 all night. We've been waking up some mornings like low 60s. I think we even had a 58 degree on the wall one night. So Fahrenheit that is not the Celsius I was mentioning before. Our wall's Fahrenheit, our phone app temperature is Celsius. But yeah, a high of 11 degrees Celsius today. So. We are going to be having a cold one, but campsite, we're going to get a campsite workout in, make a little fire with you guys probably. Anyways, see you guys in a bit when we warm up. <laughs> so it's gotten a little bit nicer out here now, and I want to have a fire later on, but there's not a whole lot of wood around here that we can salvage. I don't want to go and deforest or any things, of course, but while we were at that rest stop the other day, check out this wood I salvaged while we were there. I found these pieces of 2x4 and that 1x4 there. And I still have my kindling, whittling shavings there as well to start the fire. So we should be good for a fire later. And I've still got my old trusty handsaw here. So I was thinking, I'll just chop these into thirds probably. That'll give us six nice pieces of two by four. Split it all up with the axe into little smaller pieces. And we'll have a good fire later on guys. So let's get this wood cut before lunch and then we'll check back in with you. Chop. Oh wait, that's not how you're supposed to hit it. Chop. Much better. Now, just for this section. Chop. And just like that, guys, nice and easy. Check out that. It is starting to drizzle, so now is a good time to jump inside, get some lunch going though. And we will catch you in a bit, but. <sighs> I am loving recreation site camping in BC so far, guys. Even though it's been cold, we got the heat going in the RV when we need it. And look at this awesome landscape. All right, guys. Lunch is ready. We've got some warm weather soup. <laughs> it's a good choice to have. And I have no idea why, but we're eating outside today. <laughs> we're trying to, I guess, enjoy the little bit of non-snow weather we have left here. Because, guess what? I checked the news this morning, and the high elevation passes, like the Coquihalla and Connector and everything like that in BC, is expected to get 15 centimeters of snow by tomorrow. What? We're still in September. Yeah. That shouldn't be a thing. This weather shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> it's like the afternoon right now, like one o'clock or something, and it's still only nine degrees. We woke up to six degrees this morning. For late September, this reminds us almost of when we were RVing in December nearly last year, we were saying even so. Yep. So we're gonna enjoy the outdoors here. I think after lunch, we're going to well, since we're so secluded, there's literally nobody around us. We're going to get out some exercise mats and do a home workout here. And maybe let Kitty out on her long leash we were thinking about today too while we work out. Yeah, we'll see how she likes it, but she might be out here as well. Okie dokie, guys. We're about to start our workout out here, but look at this. We got Kitty on her long leash. I think it's a 10 foot one. I'm just gonna tie it to the picnic table. We've never actually had her outside where it hasn't been either me or Alicia walking her around holding onto her leash, so. We got her crate outside, the old blue one she learned in. And we're gonna use that as her little comfort zone and we'll see how she does. And we'll keep you updated after the workout if we have to let her inside. I hope she doesn't try and get out of this darn harness. Well, that lasted all of about two seconds. Just a bit of our feet rustling on all this loose rock just seems to trigger her every time and she bolted for the door on her little harness so she's back inside she won't calm down we're 
Mexico is complete and welcome to On the Roof with Luke guys. We're just hanging out here. We're going to enjoy the sunshine. They were calling for rain all day and we're instead getting sunshine with the lake in the background and this kind of unique area and a free BC rec site. And I wanted to say how grateful I am to have such a beautiful spot, an RV, and being able to share our journey and have you guys tuning in with us. So thank you for being with us here, guys. Very beautiful day, and I hope you're enjoying the journey with us so far. What are you doing down there, Alicia? I'm uploading a video, duh. Duh. <laughs> Welcome to my office. It's a little chilly in here. <laughs> Oh, starting to get spit on a bit here guys a little bit of a rain cloud moving through so time to get inside hopefully the firewood doesn't get too wet then we'll probably see you at fire time next so it's time to settle in and light the campfire up sun is slowly working its way down and it's cooling off in the evening Alicia has her toque on and we made some coffee we're gonna wash the Sun go down behind the RV here with the fire Good morning again guys. As you can see, it's a little cold looking out. We got the generator going in the background too because we need the battery. We've been using the furnace quite a bit. Luckily we filled up propane the other day because it has been cold. It got down to two degrees last night. So we're using the propane quite a bit more than we're used to and also the furnace uses a lot of batteries. So a little bit of generator in the morning as we pack up. We're going to be leaving this campsite soon and having a big day of driving planned, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video with us here. I really enjoy this whole kind of Midwesty vibes along the Fraser Canyon, and I mean, man, what a boondocking site for free, hey, even if it did get cold. It snowed on the mountaintops, like Coquihalla, and on a few mountains you can see out in the distance here even, snow. And it's like we're not even, like we're just getting to entering October. That's crazy, but what can you do? Anyways, until next RV vlog, guys, we will see you then. And it's been a great one. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Take care. Join us next time when we explore the highly underrated Highway 99 loop from Mililouette to Vancouver and camp for free at a bunch of BC recreation sites along the way.